Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's Today. not a gun. This is a gun. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. All right. We're going to shoot that one next, I hope. Oh no, that's the Desert Eagle, which we don't have ammo for, right? We got some ammo for it, Okay. but it's going to jam. This is another one of those cases of 200 rounds to get it rolling. It hasn't had 200 yet. Okay, well, I want to check it out anyway. But anyway, in this video, we are uh, doing a follow-up video for the LCP Max. Now that we have put the new... Uh, trigger from Galloway Precision in there. Uh, everybody who's fired this gun hated the original trigger. I hate it! Ryan like especially, either. and Shan Shan also hates it. Uh, it was okay for me. So we put this new one in here, which got rid of all the slop with the take up. As you can see here, it's just got a little bit, and that's it, which is a huge difference from the uh, factory trigger. So we're going to see if this new trigger actually increases the performance of this gun. For the record, this trigger was $40, That's which is not bad. actually a really good price really for a trigger, yeah. but it was absolute hell to install. And we got that video on our channel as well, if you want to check that out. So if you decide to go with this trigger, uh, there I do have an instructional video on how to do it. Just be prepared for a headache. On a scale of one to Beretta, how bad is the install? Beretta being really hard. I got hit in the face by springs. Beretta. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's it's bad. Yeah, if you watch the video, you can see me trying very hard not to swear. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was bad. Yep. So anyway, um, I've got the little 10-round magazine in here. So we got 10 plus 1, and uh, I'm going to take a few shots, and then uh, we're going to share it around. Uh, we have uh, Kyle with us today, too. So we've got four shooters. Range Master Kyle. So uh, everybody's going to be taking a shot with this gun, and uh, we'll get some feedback when we're done. Is this the 380? Yes, this is a 380. One thing I do notice is that the safety on this one sticks out a long way. Um, the, the original trigger, people would complain that you'd get a little callus on your finger after shooting it for a while. This gun was supposed to get rid of that, but the figure safety on this one actually sticks out more than the other one. So, shooting a lot with this gun, uh, I'm, I'm thinking you're probably still going to get that callus, but I don't know, we'll see. Man, those shells eject high. Good night. <laughs> See if I can hit the little one. Good grief. Like grasshoppers escaping a frying pan. <laughs> Can't get the little one. I believe in you. My faith is waning. Got it. My faith is restored. <laughs> I'd have to step back just to see the arches of that. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, and we're out. Once again, the slide doesn't lock back, which is really annoying. I believe that Ruger has fixed that problem. It's actually in the magazine. So if you have this problem, you can call Ruger and they'll send you another one. I haven't bothered doing that because I don't think that's that big of a deal, but for those of you that have that problem with the slide not locking back, you can probably just replace the magazine and it'll work. So, my thoughts. Huge, huge improvement over what it was before. Are you going to get the callus? Yes, I think you will from that safety sticking out so far. But the, the fact that there's hardly any take up there, there's the take up. So, you got that nice clean break. And there's the reset right there and then again so this trigger is way way better than the factory one and it does help you quite a bit with your accuracy I was even able to hit that little one with this itty bitty little gun so anyway uh, that's my thoughts on it I, as far as I'm concerned that was 40 bucks well spent and the pain in the butt that it was to install it was also worth it uh, this gun has just become incredibly like way better than it was so anyway those are my thoughts uh we'll get ryan up next here in just a second so uh the last time wes brought this out i'm a pretty decent marksman unless it's with a russian revolver i unless it's with a russian revolver and i think i figured out why that is um 
But with this gun, I could be shooting blindfolded and doing just about the same. So we'll see if this trigger fixes it for me. Am I high? Uh, that was a little low, I think. There you go. Boy, those really are flying high, aren't they? A little high. I will say that's better. I will say that is better. That was money well spent. If I were to practice with this, I could hit something. But the way it used to be, I wouldn't be able to hit the broad side of a barn. So I would, I would agree, money well spent. That's my take. All right. All right, Chan Chan's turn. She was very, very critical of the previous uh, trigger, so I'll be interested to see what she thinks. It was terrible. You're shooting a little low. Still a little low. Really? Mm-hmm. Still a little low. What am I doing wrong? That time you're high. <laughs> there you there, go. There. Got it with the last one. Oh, and look at that, the slide locked back for her. Yep, it did for me too. Huh. Well, the trigger's a lot better. Yeah, um, I know you were shooting low the first time you shot the gun too, so that might be just your technique or something. But I don't know, it's like I'm aiming above it. I don't know what I, why my aiming's off. I When I do that with my gun, it hits. I, well, I mean, I'm using the sights the It's same a lot way. more difficult to shoot the itty-bitty little guns though. I think uh, with the itty-bitty, you're anticipating the kick more. It's the same thing for me. Yeah, there is quite a bit of, of recoil on that, in that little sucker. Okay. Thoughts on the trigger? But, yeah, the trigger's a lot better. It's not my favorite gun still, but the trigger's a lot <laughs> well, better. Well, there's no way that thing's out, going to outperform I your EZ. I don't hate it anymore. <laughs> I say go. that. So. All right. Next up's Kyle. All right, Kyle's up now, who has never fired this gun before, or have you fired any gun at all that's this size? Uh, no. Okay, so this should be interesting. About three feet too low. Yeah, I realize that. Uh, even lower. How? I don't know. <laughs> even lower. Holy smokes. Yeah, that was, was really low. Better. Better. Still low. Still low. Getting lower. I... Did you, I, I don't know. <laughs> I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is very, very difficult to become a good shooter with the, with the itty bitty little guns. I, I mean, there, there is definitely a trade-off. I think it's because you're so tall and it's so small. It, yeah, it's probably because his hands are even bigger, so it's even hand. more difficult for him to shoot it than it is for us. Yeah. Yeah, there you I go. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, We'll see how he does with the Glock 20, uh, 42. That should yeah. be interesting, because that one's just a hair bigger, but is also considered a pocket gun. Yes. So, anyway. So, uh, in conclusion, everybody who has fired this gun before said the trigger was a huge, huge improvement. So, yeah, $40. If you don't want to do the install, take it to a gunsmith or something. It, it Be prepared for some headaches. It can be done by anybody who, you know... Is willing to follow the video but uh any masochist can it, do it it's gonna be tough yeah so just be prepared but uh yeah money well spent i would highly highly recommend this trigger so thanks for watching and have a good day